Hello. Uh, so it's been a long time since I uh, upload to the YouTube, uh, around one month or blank. Uh, since I was a bit busy uh, to our main bi our business and uh, so on. And uh, this time I will show a new item. It's a radio. It's a kind of a radio. Indeed, I have made a lot of uh, radio uh, using the DSP chip. It's a single chip. Not a super heterodyne with an inductor. Zero inductor, but it can receive from a uh, lower frequency to the higher frequency uh, with AM and FM mode. But as you know, the amateur radio uses a single sideband. For lower frequency, they, uh, we use a LSB, uh, lower sideband, and upper frequency, uh, it uses a uh, USB. It's not a computer peripheral, but it's an upper sideband uh, modulation is utilized for the, uh, for its good efficiency for the propagation. But indeed, this type of just a radio, M radio, cannot demodulate. We cannot hear the voice of the amateur radio. But very recently, around uh, six months ago, uh, some people found out uh, actually, some people leaked a uh, secret code for the Silicon Laboratory uh, chip. It's SI4735. Indeed, SI4735 uh, had a hid hidden function. It can receive the SSB, and indeed, some Chinese made radio uh, utilizing its function. but the sec it, it was a bit secret uh, so we didn't know how to do it but uh, there was a code on the website on on the internet and uh, some very proficient very sophisticated uh, person had made the good library for the SI4735 and uh, this time I just utilized the function the library over SI4735. Uh, Indeed, the code is written in the Arduino. And uh, this time I made a new board based on the Silicon Lab SI4735. Uh, recently, as you know, there is a, a bad propagation of the coronavirus, so Chinese uh, PCB company mostly uh, stopped its operation. So this time I use the Oshpark, Oshpark stencil, both Oshpark stencil and the PCV, and uh, it is very clear, very clean PCV, and I quickly assembled the circuit. Indeed, this is almost a parts layout is the same, but the main chip is, as you may see, is different. It's uh, made of SI4735, and indeed. This board has uh, a, has a lot of things to be done, and a lot of improvement uh, is required for the release of for my tin store. But this time I will show the basic operation of this radio for the SSB reception. Now let's see how it works. It has a headphone amp, uh, output, so I will connect. The power of the speaker, as usual. No power on. And uh, definitely, the reception of the short wave, including the amateur radio, requires the ex external antenna. So I will connect the antenna and let's power on. Yeah. Firstly, it started from what, 1.9 megahertz. 160 meta band and uh, just click the encoder it's a uh, 80 meta band and the next is a uh, 60 meta band limited for the United States and the Europe uh, actually uh, currently the Japan is a uh, prohib prohibits to use this and the next is a uh, 40 meta band in Currently in Japan, the 40 mega uh, 40 meter band is very popular, and easily we can find the station. Now let's tune the find.
Yeah, as you see, something the demodulation of the SSB signal can be heard. And uh, of course, not only the SSB phone voice communication, but also uh, a lot of station. Yeah, Morse code can. Oh, uh, and here is the FD8. Uh, for the reception, the FD8 requires a USB, not the LSB. Um, but as you as you can hear. Lower frequency is uh, for the mode code. Yeah, and. Uh, Indeed, this selection we can see on the USB uh, is arbitrary. We can change by the Arduino source. And uh, I already put the USB mode for the 7 uh, megahertz because this is the FT8. It's a QRM, QRM of the voice and uh, currently no station. Maybe there is another domestic frequency for the FT8. Ah, uh, here. As you see, the FT8 also can be received, so uh, we can realize some kind of a portable FT8 receiver if we need. I, I'm not sure it is required or not, but. And as you see, it is surely working as a SSB receiver. It's not the just a broadcast receiver. Yeah, have fun.